Hello boys and girls. I'm sorry lesson 3 was not held yesterday because I had 4 week old orphan baby Nola to foster. Anyways, let's get started on DMV lesson 3, stick shift and manual transmission. Excuse me Ms. Berman, why is this class 5 students maximum? I'll tell you why Aiden, because this is a small group, maybe about 5 students, due to coronavirus. Well, it is held here at this church where I reserved my DMV class at. Oh my goodness. It's Ms. Bowman. Hi. Why hello Rhiannon. Never seen you since Discovery. Anyways, let's begin the DMV lesson, shall we? It is recommended to start learning to use an automatic transmission vehicle. However, if you must drive a stick shift, here are some instructions. Everyone listen carefully. Aiden, Rhiannon, this means both of you too. Okay. okay. Important, if this is your first time practicing driving a stick shift, be very careful. Select an empty, flat parking lot with no traffic or pedestrians to practice driving a stick. Step 1, make sure that the parking brake is on. Step 2, push the clutch pedal with your left foot all the way and hold. Step 3, simultaneously push the brake with your right foot and release the parking brake. Tip, if you do so. You will gain popularity points and have the right to park in any parking garage downtown. Just like I did with my new Nissan Frontier pickup truck that I received on Christmas Day. Yes, Rolani. Just like you did with your new vehicle which is similar to a rolled Ford Ranger. Step 4. Start your car. Tip. Doing so can start your engine all the way up. Warning. Do not start your car if it has a problem. Step 5. Make sure that gear shift is in first gear if driving forward or reverse if you are backing up. Step 6. Shift the gear to the first gear. I will give you a picture on the computer for the car's gear. It is the D on the car's gear. Step 7. Slowly release the clutch to a middle so it is still engaged, but ready to be fully released. Step 8. Move your right foot from the brake to the gas pedal and push down gently. Tip. Doing so helps your car so you accelerate more easily and effectively. Do you go faster, slower, or moderate? Yes, Melissa. It depends on the speed limit you go such as a residential or suburban area. Step 9. Slowly release the clutch until it is fully released. It is just like the gas nozzle clicking when your car is filled up with gas with a 100% full tank. When you use too much, it spills onto the ground under your car, right? Yes, Lindsay Garcia. The gas tank spills excess gasoline onto the ground under your car when you use too much. But be careful, if you light a match or a lighter, it may call for a recipe for disaster. We don't want that, do we? No. no. Good. Okay, moving on. Step 10, the car will start moving. Even if you are not driving, the car will move without warning, so steer if you still can. And step 11, when you need to stop, Press the clutch all the way and move the gear shift to the neutral position and gently press the brake. Once you become advanced, you can always slow down by shifting to a lower gear. This preserves your brake's life. Okay, now let's wrap up this DMV lesson with a few helpful tips. Tip number one, the positions are, clutch is in the left, brake is in the middle, and gas is in the right. Tip number two, you always need to push the clutch completely and hold it when changing gear. And tip number three, if the car is not moving or stopped, the clutch needs to be fully engaged, or the gear shift needs to be in neutral position. And that wraps up the third lesson for today. Don't forget, Whirlin Waters is holding inclusive swim night for everyone tomorrow from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Y'all can come in your swimming suits and swim shirts. Can't wait to see everyone there tomorrow. Wow! wow. And if there's inclement weather that day, the rain date is July 25th. You can still go if you like. If not, that's okay. If you or a loved one change your mind at the very last minute whether you want to go or not, that's okay with you too. Well, I got to tidy up the room, go home, and take care of four-week-old orphan baby Nola. Y'all are dismissed. See you at Whirlin Waters tomorrow at 6.30 or later. Well I can't wait to tell my daughter Ronnie about this water park event.